worship service here at St. Paul Baptist Church, 1600 Pear Street, in sunny South Dallas, 75215. We are just so happy and elated today that you've taken time out of your schedule to worship with us. And so we call your attention as we call ourselves into the presence of God to the 100th number of the psalm. Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. It is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people, and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving, and into his courts with Praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name. For the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting. And the truth of the Lord endureth to all generations. Let us praise the Lord. an evildoer, 
or as a busybody in other people's matters. Yet, if anyone suffers as a Christian, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God in this matter. For the time has come for judgment to begin at the house of God. If it begins with us first, what will be the end of those who do not obey the gospel of God? Now, if the righteous one is scarcely saved, where will the ungodly and the sinner appear? Therefore, let those who suffer according to the will of God commit their souls to him in doing good as to a faithful creator. May the Lord add a blessing to the readers, the hearers, and the doers of his most holy and precious word.
And so be prepared to join us in our uh, own our uh, prayer service over the phone. Your prayers were indeed strengthening to us. Amen. And to hear your amens, uh, the fact that you were uh, engaged in Ooh. prayer. Ooh. It sounded like we were right here in the sanctuary. Amen. And so we're going to ask if you would not to mute, uh, that you would uh, get into a quiet place. As a matter of fact, wherever your secret closet is, wherever your uh, personal prayer ground is, where God is used to listening to you on a daily basis, if you would meet us there, and, uh, and uh, let's pray together. And uh, not everybody will be able to vocally pray, but certainly all of us will be able to, in our spirits, have a little talk with our Most High God. Amen. Now, uh, I want to celebrate our uh, discipleship ministry this morning. Uh, many of you have already been to Sunday school class, and every class was uh, full, uh, uh, not to capacity, though. And so we invite you, every class had members in that came to the uh, Sunday school hour and you did it via WebEx and you did it via Zoom and you did it via Marco Polo. And uh, I just am excited to know that our Sunday school teachers are teaching and that our students are studying. Thank you for the scripture indeed tells us uh, in 2 Timothy 2.15, to study to show ourselves a pew proved unto God Amen. as workmen that need not be ashamed, but that are able to rightly divide the word of truth. And so continue to study the word of God, continue to teach us to teach the word of God, and we invite you this coming week, we will have some link probably on our website so you'll know where how to get to your teachers and we're asking our teachers to please keep an active role because our Sunday school secretary sister uh, Yolanda Ransom is is keeping records uh, so certainly we ask you to continue to uh, come to Sunday school and uh, this week we will have our, the pastor's Bible study uh, will uh, continue. We will start this week, uh, and uh, you'll be able to uh, join us via one of these platforms uh, that uh, we are trying to make available so that we can continue the blessing of studying the Lord's now, we thank those of you who uh, gave this past week, and we ask those of you uh, who uh, did not have an opportunity to give, that if you would give on our website, you see that you can give via uh, Givelify or PayPal, and, and uh, if you have a PayPal account uh, or a Givelify account, you can certainly give that way. And some of you, praise the Lord, mailed your gifts in. Uh, you mailed them to the P.O. box and uh, it is there on the website now and the zip code is 75315 and so you please, ma'am, please, sir, uh, give uh, in the offering for this time. Now, also, and lastly, no, not lastly, but I also want to remind us uh, to sign up for the SBBC text message uh, ability. Uh, please uh, sign up for 
it. And uh, uh, but just remember that our text message system is only for information coming to you. Uh, you do not have to, and we ask you, please, ma'am, and please, sir, don't respond on that because we only have so many characters per month. And once we reach that limit, we're not able to use our uh, that technology. So just receive it, and if you need to uh, have a word back to the church, if you'll send it to our email address, and of course those of you who have our uh, website, you can you can uh, send prayer requests through the website. And so please use those, uh, please use those avenues uh, to speak or reach back to us. Also, I forgot to say that we are here at the church now. Well, those of you who are out and about and you would like to drop your offering off, we will be here until 12 in the afternoon. And so if you would come by and uh, one of our Deacons will be here to receive your offering. He has on gloves, and so you don't have to worry about uh, being contaminated. Uh, so please, if you're out and about and you would like to drop your offering off, we'll be here until uh, noon. Please, brothers and sisters, uh, let's let's follow the mandates of nation let's let's continue to be as safe as we can uh, let's let's stay put uh, you may be safe now you may be healthy now but don't put yourself in harm's way uh, practice social distancing uh, please ma'am please sir when you wash your hands use soapy water do it for at least 27. And those of you who have been sent home to work or those of you who are not a part of essential, of an essential uh, work uh, at your job, uh, this is not a time for you to take an extra vacation uh, other than getting out and getting some exercise. Please, it is my prayer that you would stay uh, inside because um, we found uh, it has been said that uh, this is an airborne disease as well. And someone can walk into a sneeze and, and you can contract it that way. So if you don't have to get out, please, brothers and sisters, stay in. Amen. Uh, now, uh, if you have a video that uh, is what we want to call a shout out video, you're you're sheltering at home and, and you all are doing something that you need us to know about. Um, if you just take a video and send it in to us, uh, send it to our website ministry and uh, the way you get to that and we'll put it out on the website but it's called web team at st at stpaulbc.net and if you'd like for us to share in what you're doing uh, maybe you can help us to be able to deal with what all of us are going through because all of us are being sheltered in place and so if there's something that you'd like to share, uh, if you take a video of it and send it to us, we'll make sure that it gets on our website. God bless you and God keep you. This week, rather than us bringing a uh, singing team in, uh, we really, we really, really, really wanted you to stay in and be safe. We didn't want to put you in harm's way. And so the pastor is going to...
to sing today and preach. And then we're going to give again an invitation. And uh, those of you who are, wherever you are, just know that uh, our prayers are with you. But let us certainly worship God in the beauty of holiness today. Thou, my
hired me, Father, behind the cross of Christ. Yes. Sanctify my personality. Use me for your glory. Yes. And Father, when you have done it, I'll be careful to give your name the praise. Yes, Lord. Father, speak through this thy servant Lord, Lord, Lord. to these your people. For we ask it now in the name that is above every name. Yes, in the blessed and holy, yes, righteous and powerful, yes. salvific name of your Son and our Savior, yes. the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus. And for his sake we pray. Amen. Amen. And thank God. God bless you and God keep you is our prayer. Wow. Now, I am so thankful to have you here with us today. And uh, again, thank you for inviting me into your homes, yeah. wherever you are. Right. If you're in your living room, bedroom, den, wherever you are. Uh, we are glad uh, to see you. Like Mr. Rogers would say, it's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. We're just so happy to have you with us today. I want to encourage you today with another word that the Lord placed on my heart to share with you. In the book of 1 Peter, chapter 4, beginning with verse 12, these words are written. It says, dear friends, don't be surprised at the fiery trials you are going through as if something strange were happening to you. Instead, be very glad, rejoice, King James, for the trials make you partners with Christ in his suffering so that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it is revealed to all the world. If you are insulted because you bear the name of Christ, you will be blessed for the glorious Spirit of God rests upon you. If you suffer, however, it must not be for murder, stealing, making trouble, or prying into other people's affairs. But it is no shame to suffer for being a Christian. Praise God for the privilege of being called by his name. For the time has come for judgment and it must begin with God's household. And if judgment begins with us, what terrible fate awaits for those who have never obeyed God's good news? And also, if the righteous are barely saved, what will happen to godless sinners? So if you are suffering in a manner that pleases God, Keep on doing what's right and trust your lives to the God who created you. For he will never, say never, fail you. The grass withereth and the flower fadeth, but the word of God stands forever. This morning I want to share with you from my heart from the sermon subject, Trials, Triumphs, and Troubles. Trials, 
triumphs and troubles. All right. It has been said, suffering is an unpopular subject. Hmm. You see, salvation is more pleasant than suffering. All right, all right. And heaven is more pleasant than heartache. All of us would rather live in a world where no trial, trouble, or tribulation would ever dare enter. Right, right. But what we must remember and we must know for sure, sure that that is not the world that we live in. Amen. You see, suffering is a real part of life. Bless you, bless you. Every hospital we pass reminds us that suffering is real. Screaming sirens that we hear over into the night says to us yes, it does. that suffering yeah, yeah. is real. But my brothers and sisters, suffering is just not a physical malady. Mm. But some suffer mentally. Right, right, say right. That. right. We are reminded of those who live on the streets, not because they have to. Right, right. But many are there because of some mental ailment. Right, 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 right. I come to tell you, my brothers and sisters, suffering is real. Yes, it is. Now that we live in this day of COVID-19, yeah. we are reminded all afresh that suffering is real. Yes, Lord. Suicide prevention organizations cannot remain sheltered in place. Right, right, right. They are essential. Mm -hmm. And the only reason they're essential Preacher. is because trials, troubles, heartaches, mm -hmm. and pain mm -hmm. remind us yeah. Yeah. that suffering is for real. And many that are under the sound of my voice, wow. you feel in despair, you feel uh, depressed, That's you wrong. feel heavy in heart. Don't be hard on yourself yes. because you live in this clay tent mm -hmm. that we call a body. Yeah. And many times when we are confined, it causes us Paul and listening congregation that weeping may endure for the night but joy comes in the morning. Just remember that we will not have to be in forever and just do it on a day like today the sun is shining go out and get a little sunshine. Might just be in your front yard, may be on your porch, but get a little sunshine and bring some triumph in the midst of your trials and troubles. You see, my brothers and sisters, that's the reason the Lord led my heart to the book of First Peter. 
You see, for first, Peter has as his theme, be steadfast in suffering. The church, during the time of Peter, was uh, going through a time of persecution. No less than seven different words for suffering is found and used in the book of First Peter. of their beliefs in Christ. Some had been run from their homes and they were in places that they were not used to being and, and wherever they went, there were those who did not trust in the Lord, did not believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. And because uh, in a polytheistic world, they were monotheists. They believed in the one and only God. They were persecuted. And so in the midst of their persecution, this great apostle, this, this, this great fisherman, this first preacher of the gospel, Peter, says to them, don't let the persecution, don't let the trials, don't let the troubles get you down. Continue to trust in the Lord. You see, the Christian faith among many were no longer at that time a sect of the largest Jewish, of the larger Jewish religion. Am I right about it? But it was its own faith and in the Roman Empire it was seen as being illicit. You'll find out if you continue to read in Christian history that the Apostle Peter that wrote this letter, amen, was killed for being a Christian. Right, right. Along with his fellow uh, Apostle Paul, who was beheaded by, by a mad man that was a head of state. Right, right. You see, it's a terrible thing to have a mad man as the head of state. When a mad man is head of state, there's no telling what is going to happen to the people of faith. Well, I better let that alone because we're not talking about a mad man. But you know what I'm talking about. Nero was a mad man. And when he burned down Rome, he blamed it on believers. He, he, he was a mad man. But in the midst of his, his, his persecution that was coming to the Christians, the men of God had to remind the people of God to just Hang on in that. So it is. I come to you to tell you that in the midst of your trials and troubles, that the Lord has for you some triumphs. Can I get a witness? Can somebody on the couch say, Preach, preacher? Listen, three things I want to share with you before I go to my seat. And that is, this man, Peter, this great preacher, Peter, reminds us uh, of this. Don't be, don't be surprised by the trials. All right. Don't, don't be surprised. That's the first thing I want you to see Amen. is not to be surprised by the trials. All right. All right. That is, life 
is not a bowl of cherries. Come on, brother. In this world, we sometimes end up in the pits. So don't be surprised by the trials in your life. Don't expect every day to be peaches and cream. Don't uh, expect every day to be able to have uh, your cake and eat it too. Just remember that there are some days that are going to be ups and some days there are going to be some downs. And when the downs come, don't be surprised. When sickness shows up, don't let it get you down. Don't, don't expect just because you are a child of God that you're never going to experience trouble, heartache, or pain. Just remember some days you're going to be in the pits. Some during the time of Peter, it got them down when uh, trials start coming into their life. Right, right. They felt that once they were saved, that there would be no more trouble. Come on. There would be no more trials. Mm, amen. But the truth of the matter is, whenever you become a member of the Lord's team, touch up. you right. do know that when you're a member of the Lord's team, All right. you have just left the devil's team. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, what you do is you become an enemy of the enemy. All right. yeah, you it. become yeah. an enemy of the devil. Yeah, yeah. And uh, yeah. also understand that even if the devil don't get after you, oh, yeah, yeah. your 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 flesh right, yeah. might get after you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and this is what I, I mean. Just because you are saved, uh -huh. that does not mean that the world and the flesh yeah. are going to leave you Ooh. alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. It ought not catch you off God, because uh, you still have to deal with the trials of this sinful world. Uh, we are, my brothers and sisters, a part of a fallen race. Our uh, federal head in the flesh, Adam, sin in the God. And the Bible teaches us that once sin came into the world, then death was uh, uh, introduced into the world. And one of the ways that death gets us is by way of illness and sickness. And so if one thing don't get you, something else will. All we need to do, my brothers and sisters, is to recognize it and keep on living for the Lord. Because the race is still falling. But I'm glad that while the race is falling, the human race that is, I'm still a child of the Lord. This world, we're going to hear about wars and rumors of wars. In this world, you're going to hear about tornadoes and, and earthquakes and tsunamis. There, there's always going to be lightning striking. There's always going to be uh, thunder roaring. But in the midst of it all, God is still in control. In, in, in a world where COVID-19 uh, is running rapid, last night, I checked on it, and at 9.18 Central Standard Time, there were 590, uh, 597 and four total confirmed cases of COVID-19. There, amen, were 21,200, amen, that were serious, and 27,000 
357 who had been, uh, who have deceased. But praise God, there are 133,798 who have totally uh, recovered. Now, now look at God. Uh, 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 look at God. Uh, 27,000 deceased, but 133,000 that have recovered. That lets me know that even if it is judgment, I praise God that mercy always outweighs judgment. And just because we get it don't mean we'll die from it. Because our God is an awesome God. So it is. And so it is. Don't be surprised when things happen like they happen. Just remember that greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Yes, we have an adversary, but we also have a God that's greater than our adversary. Amen. You think about what the adversary did to Job. Yeah. He took everything Job had. Right. But keep reading the book. Yeah. Because by the time you get to the end of the book, he had twice as much as he had. As he had when Satan got a hold to his stuff and his self. And so what are you saying, brother preacher? I'm saying they that wait on the Lord Surprised as 
though something strange was happening to you, basically he is saying, uh, this is really, this is normal for trouble to come. Uh, don't act like you've never had it before. But, but he says in verse 13, instead, be very glad. Be very glad for these trials make you partners with Christ. And you, you, when you go through some trials, you are partners with Christ in suffering. So that you will have the wonderful joy of seeing his glory when it's revealed to all the world. If you are insulted because you bear the name of Christ, you will be blessed for the glory. On you. I saw somebody say, preach man. Listen, I'm glad the world tells me that even in the midst of what we're going through, whether it be from natural causes or whether it be from enemies that just can't stand us, I can have joy knowing that what I'm going through, Jesus has already been to it and he's going to help because he becomes my partner. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This, 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 this word helps me to rejoice because it does uh, two things. The first, it, it really, it does two things. The first thing it does, uh, it, it, it helps me uh, to anticipate the joy of seeing uh, this future glory. I, I say it, it gives me this joy of seeing future glory. What, what, what he's saying here, it, it works on my faith. It, it, it helps me to see something that I don't see right now. It, it helps me to anticipate something that's on the way. It's not here now. That there's, no, there's no healing now. But it's on the way. You see, for what we see now is sickness and sadness. What we see now is greed and gravity. And what we see now is holy holiness and hellishness. And what we see now is trials and tribulation. But because I am a believer, because I've got the Holy Spirit walking with me and talking with me, Reminds me, Lord, I'm with you always, even to the end of the world. He walks with me and he talks with me and he tells me, hang on in there, don't give up. Because glory is going to be revealed. What, what, what he's basically saying is that glory is going to be uncovered. It's covered up now. With the junk that we right, see. Right, right. It's covered up now uh -huh. by the mess on the outside. Hey. It's covered up now by the all of the heartache and the pains. Hey. But I'm glad that I can see, amen, future glory. Yeah. But, but not only can I re rejoice in the truth that is being revealed, but I also can, can rejoice, secondly, of the joy of being in good company. Yeah. <laughs> it's something about, 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 about being with good company. That's right, you're right. And am I right about it? Y'all, 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 by faith, I see all of you right here filling this sanctuary. You're all over in the overflow. You're in the, you're in the CD night fellowship hall. I can see you right now, just like if you were here. I hear somebody over here with the deacon saying, preach, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I see somebody in the choir stand waiting to hear. One of y'all even shouting, amen. I can see all of that right now because I love your company. But I, I, I want you to know that what we are going through has put us in good company because, listen, two people are with us as we go through this. We are partners with Christ. That simply means that we are suffering like
like Christ right. suffered. Yes, yes. We've seen the song, Must Jesus Bear right. the Cross yeah. Alone and All the World Go Free? Uh -huh. No, there's a cross for everyone uh -huh. and there's a cross for me. Right. The yeah. consecrated cross I bear yeah. till death shall set me free uh -huh. and then go home. Yeah. Then go home. Uh -huh. My crown to wear. Yeah. better remember you're in good company. Jesus went through what you are going through. We have partnership with him. That simply means that we have to pick up our cross. That's, that's what it simply means here when he's talking about that your trials make you partners with Christ in his suffering, that you will have wonderful joy. Amen. You will have wonderful joy. Amen. When you see his glory, when it is revealed. And if you are insulted because you bear the name of Christ, you will be blessed. Because here's the second reason we can enjoy. Because we have not only Jesus, for the glorious spirit of God rests upon you. So not only do I have Jesus, I've got the Holy Spirit. I have the Holy Spirit resting in me. And so I have peace when I'm going through. Have you ever wondered how some can go through these trials and never give up? Mm. We have members in our congregation who, who, who have suffered with cancer on one occasion and they've been declared uh, cancer free only to hear some time afterwards that the cancer has come back. And, 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 and many of us wonder how they deal with it. And, and, and I'm here to tell you that I believe the re reason for dealing with it is that they have the Holy Spirit who, who, who is reminding them that they are not going through what they're going through by themselves. They, they have a peace that passes understanding. Why, why, why do we preach? Why are preachers preaching all over this nation when, when, when there are no individuals inside the church? Why? Because we have the Holy Spirit. We have the peace that passes understanding. Somebody is wondering how in the world are they doing all of that and nobody's there. I tell you because we've got the peace that passes all understanding. Because it's being revealed. Paul put it this way. But as it is written, eyes have not seen, nor ear heard, neither had entered into the heart of man the things which God had prepared for them that love him. My question is, do you really love him? I'm asking you this question. Do you really love him? And if you really love him, I want you to understand that God got this yeah. under control. Yeah. The answer and the cure for what's happening in the world yes. may have hit 193 of the 195 known nations on this globe. Wow. And scientists, researchers everywhere are looking for a cure. But I want you to understand God already has a cure. And one day he's going to show it off to his glory and to our good. Well, uh, I can see somebody now saying, come on, preacher. I just have one more thing to say to you. And I need you to amen me. I need you to shout wherever you are. I need you to praise God in the sanctuary of your heart. I need to remind you this so that 
while you at home, uh -huh. you can stay right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and if you're not right, uh -huh. you can get right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And that is my third point. All right. That is, don't uh -huh. suffer uh -huh. for the trouble that you cause. All right, all right. All right. I say, yeah. don't right. suffer uh -huh. yeah. for the trouble yeah. right. that you cause. Come on. In other words, I'm saying don't play with fire. All right. Yeah. Yeah. You might just get burned. Yeah. 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 Don't play uh -huh. with fire. Uh -huh. If you play with fire, uh -huh. you might just get burned. Yeah. 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 Listen to the word of God. If you suffer, Preacher. if you suffer, uh -huh. however, it must not be for murder, mm. stealing, All right. making trouble, yeah. a prime and the other folks affairs. Yes. Verse 17 yeah. is this, for the time has come, and I say has come, yes. present tense for judgment, mm. and it must begin with God's household. All right. All right. Yeah. And if judgment begins with us, uh, what terrible fate awaits those who have never obeyed God's gospel, his good news. And also, and this blew my mind when I read it, it says, if the righteous yeah. are barely saved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What will happen Ooh. to godless sinners? Right, right, right. Right. That just blew my mind. Oh. Yeah, yeah. The righteous yeah. barely yeah. saved. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good yeah. folk Come on. Yeah. barely yeah, no. make it in. Yeah. Uh -huh. Choir members, uh -huh. hey. deacons, yeah. 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 trustees, Come on.
Can I get a witness? You can murder somebody by the words that you say. And the Bible says that whosoever hates his brother is a murderer. And you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Cain killed Abel because he hated his brother. A sad saga of a terrible terror. Amen. If you play with fire, you will get burnt. I'm going to deal with the first one and the last one. Don't deal, don't, don't get in trouble by being a, a busybody. Amen. Some, 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 some folk can't help but to get in the other folks' business. Amen. I know y'all say you don't stop preaching and go on the meddling. No, I'm trying to help somebody today. I want you to know that you need to mind your own business. That, that's the reason somebody had to be a shelter in place because they won't, amen, mind their own business. Amen. I come out to tell you there are some that think uh, they, 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 they only, amen, uh, get joy at looking down on other people. Uh, that they, they only get joy, amen, by being mean uh, and messy. They only get joy by being meddlesome and naughty. They only get joy by being nasty and noisy. Sisters, I come out to tell you, you better leave that old devil alone. You better tell the devil you are a liar. I am not going to burn myself. Am I right about it? Don't, don't, don't invite suffering by getting into somebody else's business. Amen, my brothers and my sisters. I come to shout this morning by telling you in the midst of your trial, you ought to have the triumph of joy because the joy is only going to last for a little while because when you resist the devil he will flee for a season but that old devil is coming back but that's alright just stay in spiritual shape you'll be able to resist him again am I right about it amen we Christians can sometimes engage in habits of Practices uh, that bring, uh, amen, suffering in our life. Uh, I come out to tell you, my brothers and sisters, uh, you better realize uh, in the midst of what's going on in this world uh, that God is watching us. Uh, turn to somebody and say, neighbor, the God the Father is watching us. Uh, he's looking at us. Uh, and sometimes Christians suffer because of sin and the sake and the and the subsequent amen that comes after sin is chastening if God is your father and you keep on sinning God will chastise you amen he might not kill you but he sure knows how to give you a good whipping he knows how to chastise you he knows how to put you on the bench he knows team for just a little while. Listen to what, amen, the writer of Hebrews says. It says, for the Lord disciplines the one he loves and chastises every son whom he receives. It is the discipline that you have to endure. Somebody said, you got to take it when you mess up and the Lord is trying to fix you up. you got to learn how to take it. you got to say, do Church say amen. Can the church say amen? If the 
so I think about this all the time now when I'm growing. Hey! Okay. 
that once you became a Christian, that all of your troubles and trials just cease. I'm here to tell you, on this side, there's never going to be a time where you are not potentially in some type of storm.
judgments only you can. And when you do it, we'll shout. Praise your name forever. We ask it now in the name that is above every name, in the blessed and holy, righteous, and power. Salve in the name of your Son and our Savior, Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. My blessed Savior, I surrender all. Let's give the Lord a hand to pray. God bless you. Thank you for being a part of this worship experience. Now, I want to say to you that on next Sunday is our desire to have an 8 o'clock worship online and a 1050 worship online experience. Now, how are we going to make that happen? We don't know. Right now, we don't know that uh, one might be live and another recorded. But we want you to know that we're doing all we can here at St. Paul to make worship in your time as normal as it can be. We are planning a way, those of you who would like to come by during this week, pick up uh, our Lord's Supper elements. We have some now, maybe about 250 uh, that we have that we'll make available in baggies. All we're asking is that uh, we'll let you know via the text when they'll be ready. They will be in little baggies and someone with masks and gloves will hand them to you. You will not have to get out of your car, we'll be in the parking lot handing them out, but we will let you know when that will happen. And then on first Sunday, we will uh, have Lord's Supper uh, together for those of you who will come by and pick up your Lord's Supper. Now, we are only going to give uh, enough for your household, so uh, please don't come and ask for as a matter of fact, uh, if we know that you have a husband and a wife, we'll give you two. Uh, if you have a family and you have so many children, we'll give you enough of those until we have run out. And uh, we'll uh, mass text when we have run out. We are in the process of trying to order uh, some others, but as you can imagine, all over this nation, the supply is getting smaller and smaller because many of us are doing these things. We are not going to disobey the order, but we will not all be here at the same time. Uh, you will come by uh, one of these days this week, maybe Wednesday when I'm teaching Bible study. Uh, I'll have one of our deacons on someone here with a mask and gloves to hand out as people come. Uh, and we'll probably do that. We'll let you know what the time is. So God bless you. God keep you. Uh, anybody have a birthday? Anybody have a wedding anniversary? Anybody have a brand new baby or a grandchild? Anybody get a promotion? I know you've been sheltering in place. Any celebration we have, I do again want to thank our Sunday school teachers for teaching. We have a great time in the Lord with them. We're going to sing congratulations to y'all.
let me say one other thing. Those of you who are having to go to work, you are essential to your job. Just know we're praying for you as well. God bless you and God keep you as I pray. Let's stand.